Now let's make a tiger. It's very similar to the lion without the mane. Well, it is the lion without the mane. And I'll also show you a panther, which is just made just like the tiger, but in yellow and with three little dots all over. So I just put like one bigger dot and two smaller dots. Well, this is what we're gonna make, but we're gonna make um, a tiger. So for this one, you wanna take an orange 260 and inflate it all but a four, thing, uh, four inch tail, which is a five finger tail. And make sure you let a nice puff of air out. You want this mushy when you twist it. And then we're gonna take a one and a half inch bubble for the eyes. Um, a white scrap piece of 260 that you can inflate an inch and a half and I'm gonna put mine on a stick just to show you how to put it on the stick and these are the 16 inch sticks from Brody's and let me show you let's start with the eyes let's split the one or the 260 bubble it right in half and bring the sides up together right here. Tuck one of the ends under it, under this part right here, bring it out to the other side, and tie it in a knot. I sometimes like to tie it twice, but I'm, not, I'm gonna wrap it around here at first. So just pinch twist these. Once you tie it up here, um, you don't have to, but I like to pinch twist them right like this, because when I wrap it around, the nose, I like to be pinch twisted. Take one of the ends, flip it around, and tie it right up here. Tie it good. You can tie it twice if you want to, but it doesn't come undone. And then cut it off right up above the knot. You don't need any scrap pieces left over to put on to anything. And let's set these aside and then take your 260 orange one and we're gonna start with a one and a half inch bubble so just about the size that the eyes were this is about a three finger bubble and then we're gonna make another well this is gonna be about a two inch bubble because it's gonna be a three bubble roll through so it's gonna be this part right across here so make a two inch bubble and flip it over and make another two inch bubble and then squeeze the air down towards the end of the balloon and make this one slightly smaller so you can roll it through. And we're gonna push this bubble with our thumbs. I did not put a very good twist in that. Make sure you twist them good. Okay, and push this through with your thumbs as you roll this over right like that. Okay, and then make a one inch bubble right here. It's gonna be his chin. And then we're gonna do the side of his face. And that's gonna be a two inch bubble, which is about three fingers. A one inch bubble and pinch twist it for an ear. A two inch bubble, which is about three fingers for the top of his forehead. A one inch bubble and pinch twist it for the other ear and then twist it, bring it down here and twist it into where the other cheek bubble is. And now before we tuck this in, we need to pick up our eyes and they're gonna go right here under this first bubble we twisted, right like that. And now you wanna take this one and a half inch bubble and tuck it through the head bubble. And you want the smaller, you want the smaller bubble on this three bubble roll through to be in the front because it should be the smaller part of the nose. Pull this through the back of the head and wrap this knot, pull it down and wrap it around the neck. So pull it down and wrap it just like that. And then what we want to do is make two tiny bubbles, just two like one and a half inch bubbles for the legs and a tiny body bubble one and a half inch bubble for the other leg and a one inch bubble here. Do you see how much air is in this one? Like I could twist it into there, probably be fine with it. And there's not a lot of air on this one. So what you wanna do is you wanna leave this out and leave this out. 
squeeze some of that air down here and see where my crease is you can start at the the bubble at the bottom of the feet right here if there's a lot of air in your balloon and fold it back up and then pick up this bubble that was for the back feet again that way less chances of your balloon popping because it disperses the air out through this whole part of the back of the tiger and then what you want to do when you have this done turn your little ears towards the front like this and then we're gonna decorate him so I'm gonna draw his eyes circles right here on the front two cute little eyes little round pupils draw a pizza slice right here and fill that in and then a line goes from here down to the bottom of his mouth here and I like to give him little freckles just little ones and then three little whiskers on each side and then a little smile here like a little black lip little eyebrows look at my scary fierce um, tiger and then for the stripes I just whip spit back and forth like this bling bling like the bling like that and just do this like that watch you don't get sharp you in your hands I do that all the time and then pull the tail down while you do that just go back and forth a little watch where your sharpie is this can get a little messy when you draw the tiger stripes on And then on the other side of the face and on the other leg. And that should be good enough. And this is my little tiger. And then to put it on a stick, you just take this right in the back of the legs. And you don't want to jab the balloon so it doesn't pop. You just want to roll it in. So I just take it and roll it in and tuck it up a little easily. And there is my tiger on a stick. And there you go, and here's the leopard again.